Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, church fam. Come on, Max. Come get on, out of the way. Gotta, get gotta, move. <laughs> gotta move so I can get in. Well, happy Word Wednesday, everyone. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're back in AZ. Got a little helm. <laughs> Got helms on. <laughs> we were in Minnesota this past week. Go Vikes. Go Vikes. These are the helms of the official Minnesota Vikings. We got to visit friends and family. It was a wonderful time of rest and... Great weather. Great weather. Oh. It was beautiful. Got out of the heat for a little bit. Yeah. But we are glad to be back. Mm -hmm. Glad to be back with you guys this morning. Word Wednesday. Thanks, <laughs> excited. So, we're going to just dive right in. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, we're wearing helms for a reason, because today... We are conquerors, mighty conquerors. So please turn your Bible to Joshua 1. We've got a couple verses, actually, we're going to blast today. The first verse is going to be Joshua 1, verse 9. And this is after the Lord has charged Joshua with taking back the land, the promised land. It says, this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's a pretty strong verse. Now, uh, after that, Joshua led the campaign into Canaan, started taking over some territory, started conquering the land. We jump ahead to Joshua 10, if you want to jump with me now. Or I got a couple notes here. 10.25, and it says, this is Joshua speaking to the Israelites. So God was speaking to Joshua. Now Joshua is now speaking to the Israelites here in 10.25. Don't ever be afraid or discouraged, Joshua told his men. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord is going to do all of this to your enemies. Then Joshua killed each of the five kings and impaled them on five sharpened poles. Get a little, got a little morose there, but really what it's saying, he's telling his men, don't be discouraged. We've just killed five <coughs> southern kings. We've got a long way to go. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Stay strong. Stay courageous. And as we work our way through the, through the conquest here, we get to the end of Joshua's life. And then the Joshua has one more thing to say. After he's conquered all the land, God has given back the land to the people of Israel. This is what Joshua says to the people. So fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. Put away forever the idols your ancestors worshipped when they lived beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord alone. But if you choose, refuse to serve the Lord... Then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose lands you now live? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Amen. So that is just a three-minute breeze through the book of Joshua. And what it is, just a quick recap. God is telling Joshua, I'm giving you back this land. You've waited long enough, 400 years in Egypt, 40 years wandering in the desert. Take back the land. Be strong and courageous. What happens halfway through all the battles and all the conquests? Well, these men are starting to get discouraged. They're starting to be like, this is a little overwhelming. And Joshua, Joshua then, what God said to Joshua, Joshua says to his men, be strong and courageous. Don't give up. Keep going. And then at the end of his life, after God has given us the land, God has given the Israelites the land, what does Joshua say? So fear the Lord. Not any giants, not anyone else. Fear the Lord and serve him wholeheartedly. I think that's a great reminder for us today. Whatever battle we're in, whatever conquest we're in, whatever season of life we're in, it's a reminder to be strong and courageous. Trust the Lord wholeheartedly. Serve Him wholeheartedly. And that's what I'd like to do today. Encourage you guys to do today. Put on your helms, your conquest helms. Be strong and courageous today. I know these aren't like uh, officially 3,000 year old helms. They're plastic. But they look intimidating. They look intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want to fight us. No. <laughs> awesome. Plus, pray. Pray that you guys stay strengthened and um, have a great day today, Jesus. Lord, we give this day to you. We thank you that you've given us a spirit of conquering, God, a spirit of strength and courageousness, God. Let us use that to honor you and glorify you as we go out into the day today. Let us stay strong and courageous. Let us talk about you. Let us show your light into this world. We ask that you bless today. Bless all those that are hearing this. <coughs> Joe's out of the airways. We love you. Thank you, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Cough bug. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Well, let's see who's on. All right. Woo! <coughs> All right. We got a lot in here. Good morning, Kim. 
Good morning, Deb. Welcome back. Yes, it's great to be back. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sylvia. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Karen. Good morning. Hey, Terry. Mary, Joe, missed you guys. Love ya. <laughs> Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Rose. Good morning, Alfredo. Hey, Ramiro. Margie, love you guys. Hey, Jan. Hey, Pops. Good to be back. It just is good it to is be back. It is good to be back. All, All right. right. Christine, RJ, yes. Georgia. All right. That's right. Helmet of Salvation. That's right. Yeah, we could, we could actually make this a cross reference. That's right. I, I almost said that before we started, but I was like, you know what? No. But they look more like conquerors. They moments. do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I think we got to the bottom. It is so great to be back with you guys. Wee. Remember tonight? It's family night. We've got kids' activities, crew youth, young adults, and our Bible study. So come tonight, uh, 7 p.m. tonight. Tomorrow, as always, chime in with Ranji at 7.30. Yep. Right. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Have a good day.